In our previous talk through, we wrote this code here to change all of the H1s on the page. Now, what if we wanted to change all of the paragraphs instead? We can do that by just changing H1 to P and then presto, they all changed. As you can see, in order to change which elements get affected by the text method, we just change what we pass in to this function. Now, what do we actually pass in there? Well, we need to pass in something, some string that looks like a CSS selector. Now, do you all actually still remember CSS selectors? If not, this is a good time to go back and review them because we will be using them a lot here. Here, I will write a few CSS rules at the top to remind you. So we already have this CSS rule for changing the body font and color. Now, if I want all the paragraphs to be red, I'd use this rule, P color red. So P is a selector that selects all the paragraphs on the page. So down in the JavaScript, P is the string that I pass into the jQuery function. Now I'm going to add another CSS rule to make the top headline purple. To make sure that I only select the top headline and none of the other H1s, I have to identify it by ID. That means that I start my selector with pound sign, and then I type the ID, main heading, and then I'll put my property, make it purple, yay. All right, so in CSS, anytime we start something with a pound sign, it means that we're identifying an element by ID. Now I'm gonna go down to my JavaScript, start a new call to jQuery, and pass in that same selector, main heading, starting with that pound sign, and then set some text, jQuery, more like yay query, woo. All right, great. Now it's purple and has that new text. Okay, let's do one more example. So let's say I want to change all of my note paragraphs and make them have a yellow background color. So let's do that in CSS. Now the thing that it distinguishes them is they have a class name of note. So I need to start my CSS rule with a dot and then write the class name and then I can do my property. So that dot means we're selecting by class name. So now back down to our JavaScript, start a new jQuery call dot note dot text note jQuery has been known to cause extreme joy. All right, so thanks to jQuery, we've almost completely changed the text of this web page. Now, normally you'd be changing your web page in response to some user interaction, like a click, but we'll cover that later. For now, just focus on what the techniques are for changing the page. One thing to know about this technique is that you can pass any CSS selector into that jQuery function even long, complex ones. If it works in CSS rules, it should work in jQuery. Try it out in the next challenge.